Atlanta Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms shared her mac and cheese on social media. Well, her post went viral, and people had a whole lot to say about how her mac and cheese looked. One person said, at least you tried. <laughs> Another person commented, bless your heart. <laughs> well, the mayor is here to set the record straight. <laughs> And I'm teaming her with a celebrity chef whose mac and cheese game will have us all looking like champions <laughs> at the game day snack table. Give a warm welcome to the mayor of Atlanta, Miss Keisha Bottoms, and to the winner of Food Network Star Season 4, Chef Aaron Big Daddy McCargo Jr. But now, listen to this. This is what you did. You actually turned the situation into an initiative to help your community of Atlanta. Tell us about it. That's right. So we're joining with Kroger Grocery Stores for the More Than Macaroni initiative. And what we will do is that for January 31st, for a couple of weeks after that, if you round up your purchase, then the proceeds will go to the Atlanta Food Bank. Wow. wow. Well, that's how you flip the script on it, you know. <laughs> now, thankfully, though, we've got Chef Big Daddy in here. Now, so we're gonna get started. What I got in this bowl is a couple eggs. I got some heavy cream. We got some smoked gouda. We got some mozzarella, some Swiss, and we got some sharp cheddar. So this is the base right here. We got some cheese lovers in the house. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So what happens is you put your cooked noodles, and you want to leave them kind of wet. Now, once you get your noodles in here, a lot of folks overcook them. Cook them a little under so they don't get mushy while they're baking in the oven. But the key thing is the Velveeta. Now, I know a lot of folks look down on Velveeta cheese, but I'm a Velveeta lover. So this is the thing. Once I dump this in the bowl, you get your Velveeta and you lay it on top of this. And now I put it in the oven for like 15, 20 minutes, and then I take this fork, and this is where you go and you stir this cheese in here. And yep, then you put it back in the oven. Mine, that's, see, what, see, I... that's, why you're, that's what you're doing. Yeah. See, they didn't know that. Right. Once you stir the cheese, you put it back in. Now, we got this going in. <laughs> now, this is what your finished mac and cheese looks like. Oh! So, yeah. here you go, Mayor. Try that out right there, Steve. Sure will. Mayor, let me know what you think. Mm. I would have brought that fried chicken really and ribs, good. but I forgot this. <laughs> this is really good. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want y'all get stuffed though. Now y'all can eat and, and walk with me because I got another one for you. Now I'm coming from Camden, New Jersey. Right across the bridge is Philly and cheesesteaks is the biggest thing. So what I did was I took the master base of what I had over there. I got me some chopped steaks, some sauteed onions, a little bit of cracked black pepper. Now what we want to do is take the same mixture, put this over the top, So we got steak and stuff in the middle. <laughs> Get some of this white cheddar here. <laughs> we got the cheesesteak mix, the same process. We take this finished dish, we throw it in the oven, and believe me, you're gonna take it out 15, 20 minutes, stir the cheese in, same thing. So what we're gonna do here is because I love to make sure that everybody's eating good, you know I got the Big Daddy. Steve, cheesesteak mac and cheese here. Oh, Piping hot out the oven. Yes. It's about to go down. <laughs> it's about to go down. Come here. Yeah, come here. Come here. Come here. Maybe y'all come here. Hmm? Oh, it smells okay. so good. Okay, this is the cheesesteak one. That's the cheesesteak one. Maya, what you think? I, I, I think I like the, uh, the first one with the Gouda. Oh. Yeah, I love that one. Now, listen to me. Aaron, you're opening a beer garden mm -hmm. in Camden, New Jersey. Tell us about it. Yeah, so, yeah, thank you. So it's more than just a beer garden because what we're gonna have is a lot of different types of arts, different types of food. So now we got opportunity for all those folks with talents such as painting or singing or drawing or poetry. They can come down and showcase that, as well as get an opportunity to bring the family down. Have good food, great cocktails, great wine, and it's just gonna be a great experience. Wow, congratulations. Yeah, thank you. 
Now, I want to say thanks to Chef Aaron Big Daddy McCargo Jr. And we're going to put all the recipes up on the website. And if you're in Camden, make sure you check out his beer garden, Camden Arts Yard, opening in March. Now, y'all, a special thanks to my mayor, Mayor Bottoms of the great city of Atlanta, Georgia, which will be hosting the Super Bowl. We'll be right back, everybody. Hey, you made it to the end of this video. I got a lot more that you're gonna enjoy, so just click to watch the next one. And make sure you subscribe to always know what's happening.